a unique town in Thailand, a seaside town, a town not far away from Bangkok, but still a town that very few foreigners outside of Thailand know about. If that sounds interesting to you, then keep watching this video because I am in such a town and right now I am going on a walk. I'm going to the coast, which is approximately 30-40 minute walk in that direction. And I'm planning to take a road I haven't yet taken before, so I'm not sure if this is going to go well or not too well. Let's see, we may have to go through some mangroves or something. There are mangroves by the sea and there are also some cool looking old ships that I want to show you. It's a seaside town after all, like I said. A cool looking hotel. And the place, the place is called Rayong, this town here. A very cool town. I read online that there is nothing to do in Rayong, but I completely disagree with that. Rayong is very nice. There are shopping malls, shops, cafes, restaurants, a super nice beach. You can see the beach also in my previous video from Rayong. And you will see it also now. This also looks like a mall, maybe a shopping or not a shopping mall, but a, a big supermarket. It definitely doesn't look like a quiet and boring seaside town. It's so much more than that. Okay, 35 minutes. Turning to the right there. You see very few foreigners here. And in some places, like I said before, there may be like menu only in Thai, information only in Thai. And so people in your hotel may speak only Thai, but uh, that's not a problem, of course. And uh, if you are looking for some quiet and still nice and happening place with all these cafes and stuff like that, Rayong is a very cool place where to go. Old buildings here or just building old style. Hmm. Is this a temple? Um, yeah, I have to go here and then I'm turning to the left. Turning to the left here. But let's take a look at this stupa. Maybe. Yeah, I'm saying that Rayong is a nice and cool place where to go and a place that I would recommend to people to go to, especially if you are looking for a quieter place or you have been to many places in Thailand and you want something different. But that wasn't my first impression of Rayong. At first I thought that it's like super boring. Just like I read online that it's a sleepy seaside, seaside, seaside fishing village. But if you look more, if you go to some different places here, you quickly realize that there is much more to Rayong. It's not so sleepy and quiet. I'm curious, what is this here? Is this some maybe school area or temple grounds or government area? Oh yeah. On the right is Nakorn Rayong Vityakom School. School. And on the left you can see where people are living, what 
houses somehow here. In my previous video at the very beginning I said that this looks like grubby town but without the town because all we had seen at that moment were two roads. What Rayong is more than two roads. It's a very spread out place. And now to the left and look here in this nice looking condo building you can buy an apartment for 129 maybe 129 279 for a house 129 million baht um, hmm, 40,000 euro 40,000 American dollars could be something like that if that was the price now we go along this road and then turn in there are mangroves and soon afterwards a beautiful temple and these old fishing boats that I said at the very beginning of this video some cool fishing boats and a dog running somewhere or maybe I'm going here Ah uh, yeah I'm going here Let's go and see and This is something there first For me it looks like I have entered the private property but but maybe I haven't. I see a dog. No. No, I think I'm not going there. I'm not really into walking with these dogs. This road must be going in the same direction. Here is the temple that I saw. Lots of dogs. The only thing I don't like about Thailand, lots of stray dogs. I have been bitten, so no, I don't like them, stray dogs. So I better walk extra kilometers than go through dogs territory. Swimming or fishing? This looks interesting. I think he's doing something to catch fish, not just swimming for fun nice look what a nice sidewalk there is someone must have been working out really hard here those crazy young people when they go to work out equipment falls to pieces Everything in Thai. Well, of course, it is Thailand. Not England. But uh, kids are very normal. Here, in Rayong. Not crazy, hyper active. They don't like. They don't do like the adults with this workout equipment. Let's try and translate. Starting at 1.25 million condos. Fully prepared. Fully prepared, I guess, may have meant fully furnished. So you can just move in. 125 million. Yeah, so 1 million is around 30,000 
a little bit less and one fourth so 37 thousand euro dollars in a place like this one sounds like a good deal to me we are approaching those old ships and old part of Rayong I thought I saw uh, I, I heard the monitor list are drowning away but no maybe it was a rat 18 minutes I'm aiming for the temple one temple here a beautiful temple just right by the bridge and all the old fishing boats but this one must be this building it looks like that and it's 129 million so more or less the same 35 40 thousand for an apartment in this nice building where you can go and have a meal nice meal down here or back for 50 or 70 baht so one two euro rayong is a very affordable place and also if you go to nicer cafes it's very affordable near our hotel we have a cake and coffee place where they serve you world-class pastry cakes yeah, and stuff like that and uh, it costs three two euro for cakes that in new york and london would be eight ten or more like top class very beautiful very tasty fresh ingredients 7-eleven not far away from your 40,000 condo lotus and here by the lotus is one of the last year's best things i have seen in thailand these vending machines these coffee and drink machines smoothie machines serving you some really nice and also affordable drinks so touch to start let's see what they have here oh uh, no 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 let's say healthier choice what they have cafe latte cold 40 baht so one euro and ten maybe matcha 25 less than one euro matcha latte 40 so one euro and ten something a lemonade with Thai milk tea good and affordable drinks I just had to go in a supermarket to cool down my camera it's still pretty warm in Thailand just like it was 10 years ago when I came here for the very first time Thailand isn't getting any colder that's a very good thing I must say I wouldn't be coming here so much like every year sometimes more if it would be getting colder we are approaching it huh I think it's this one I was thinking I have to go in this direction no this must be the place the temple and there must be the bridge going over where are all the old ships impressive ships wait a moment it's worth it I haven't I hadn't seen ships like that before similar like you see in other Southeast Asian port cities old port cities towns similar like you may have seen in Vietnam or Malaysia but not the same not the same stuff I see them there in the Rayong River here are temples one here with these beautiful gates and wonder 
now let's go to the old bridge and walk at Ross and take a look at the ships or maybe they are like in other Southeast Asian port cities wooden old colorful a lot of ships old ships some really really small fishing boats vessels ships and these big ones also and more there in the distance beautiful and very unique entering the old rayong i'm actually making this up myself but this really looks like this may be old rayong look big internet cables are cut most likely because they are old Whoa, got scared by auntie. Can we walk here? I wasn't planning on this. I didn't think I, how I'll be walking here. On this small road or somehow differently. Hello. Beautiful, historical, very unique. Very different from the other part of Rayong, the part that I showed you before must be the old Rayong in front of us is the sea because this here is a very narrow piece of land on that side is Rayong river and there the sea and one of the nicest city beaches I have seen it goes on and on in, in that direction and at least for some while also in this direction and yeah you can go swimming here there are these signs that may look like they forbid swimming but uh, in fact they are telling you that you shouldn't be swimming when there are big waves it's because that might be dangerous at first, on the first day here in Rayong, we were very confused seeing those signs with the um, like a black cross across a person swimming. We thought that they are saying that it's forbidden to go swimming, but it's actually a super nice place to go swimming. Like this end of the beach is a little bit less nice. It's more like a, in a fishing village. But if you go further, super nice beach and also lots of at least kids swimming there in the evenings not so much during the day but it's Thailand people don't go out to the beach in the sun during the day what is this is this something for fishing I don't know. I'm walking now towards the more central part of the beach, but uh, also in that direction back there are some cool places where to go for a meal, some more fancy places, many simple and good, I guess, local places. Yeah, but since you already saw that part of Rayong in my previous video, I'll end this video here. See you soon. Maybe you're still from Rayong.
This is an amazing town. See you.